I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the Crooked Man. Thank God. <coughs> Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the Crooked Man's place. And after what happened with Mary... Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes! What are you waiting what do you have for, to you say murderer? For my you wife killed Lily she because was my of where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? You You're a fucking Sir, crook! Yes. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? I already took care of Georgie, so drop what it. What do you mean you took care of him? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Unless you plan to abandon the Charter entirely. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did. Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk, well go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. 
And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is fucking bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people, I've seen it firsthand! What you did to Faith! The way you manipulated her! Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. 
His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie boat. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of mean... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him... Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. That don't make him a murderer. Doesn't it? For fuck's sake! Killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly- They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me? It was them! And who sent those two freaks anyway? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. What? You think you shouldn't be held accountable? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to... Bluebeard, please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to... to this is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian...
killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! Really... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well! Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you! What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you, enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. It's no one. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Everyone, I'm not this way. It, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you That's can't be what serious. What he's done? You're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. 